Hey guys, Julie here, creator and founder of PartTimeBusinessBuilder.com. And today I have a simple but very effective Facebook marketing strategy. Now this might work on other platforms, but for right now I'm concentrating mostly on Facebook marketing. And uh, this is a very effective method in order to capture uh, an audience and capture and, and create a list through Facebook without actually having to uh, sell a product or capture an email list. So it's kind of a ninja kind of a thing to do. A lot of you might already know how to do this, but I know for certain that a lot of you don't know how to do this. And uh, it's a little techy, uh, but I think you can figure it out pretty easily. The scope of this video isn't to show you the technical side of it or how to apply pixels and stuff like that. What I'm trying to do here is introduce you to the strategy. And, um, and as you get a little further along on your marketing, maybe we can touch base and I can help you along with how to install pixels and stuff like that. But for right now, I'm just going to discuss the strategy itself and show you how it can be an effective, powerful tool to creating uh, your brand and getting your brand and getting your products in front of the people who are interested. So that's basically the whole premise of marketing, right? Is getting your product and your face in front of people who are targeted for your industry. So you wanna make sure you're laser focused and targeted. So uh, let's go into the computer now and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna try to keep this short because I'm gonna try to be pretty, pretty uh, big picture about it and not get too detailed, but I, I sometimes dive in pretty deep. So. So let's go into the computer right now and figure out exactly what I'm talking about. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is my Facebook fan page. It's facebook.com forward slash part time business builder. If you haven't been here to like our page yet, you're very close to being our 1000th like. So go ahead and like our Facebook page and you know share it with your friends because we've got a lot of great stuff on here, a lot of great uh, videos and training and just resources. And this is basically exactly where I post. Anything that's on my website or blog is, unless it's member only kind of stuff, is right here in the Part-Time Business Builder Facebook fan page. So go ahead and like it and share it around. And with anybody you think might get any value from this, go ahead and share it with them as well, okay? So, and leave us comments and stuff. We love comments, we love engagement. Um, just no spamming. That's my one rule. If you want to leave me a resource that you want me to check out, then send me a private message. Uh, don't put it exact because I'm just going to delete it and then you're going to get mad at me for deleting it. So don't put it there. So basically, this is the strategy I want to talk about. I want to talk about building a list on Facebook without actually having to capture anybody's email address. And this is even, this is especially effective if you already have an email list. This gives you the ability to bring uh, your email list over to your Facebook area and, uh, create some engagement with your Facebook. Because, I mean, your list is primarily the the people that you are building that relationship with. You know, you're trying to get them to know, like, and trust you. And what better way to do that than to get them involved in Facebook with you so they can engage and you guys can engage back and forth and you guys can touch base and all that good stuff, right? So, as you can see, I'm here on my part-time business builder fan page teaching you the skills to succeed as a digital entrepreneur. Um, I obviously run my, my ads through several Facebook fan pages. Today, we're going to use part-time business builder. So the, the strategy I want to talk to you about is building custom audiences based on where you're sending your traffic. Okay, so the best part about this is if you go to uh, manage your ads, right? So I'm, I'm obviously running a couple ads, so I've already got that in process. So you want, what you want to do is run ads. And if you're running ads to a, a website that you have control over, like my blog, I have control over my blog, so I can put pixels on my blog but if you're running them to an affiliate page, this might not work so well unless you can put your pixel on that affiliate page, unless there's a third-party pixel area where you can put your uh, Facebook pixels on that page. That way, uh, it, it communicates with Facebook. Without that pixel implanted in the blog or wherever you're sending this traffic, it's not going to register. It's not going to communicate with Facebook, and it's kind of almost a wasted strategy. So don't try that unless you have control or are able to get your pixels in to the um to the tra where you're sending the traffic. So let me just tell you real quick what a pixel is. So if I go here on my uh, ads manager page, obviously you can see I have a ton of ads that I'm using. I'm running a couple right now currently. Actually one that I'm promoting pretty hot right now because it seems to be working pretty well. I'm getting some good uh, engagement. I'm getting some good cost clicks and I'm getting some, uh, some low engagement costs. So that's cool. So I'm gonna go over here to audiences and this is in my create uh, or my manage ad area. Uh, you could do this through Power Editor, but right now we're just going to work through our, our standard Ads Manager page. So as you can see here, this is the one that I'm promoting, right? This is four steps to avoiding overwhelm. And that's a post that I created on my blog 
it's a video where I'm sending traffic from a Facebook promoted post to that website. So now the cool thing about that is that every single person that visits that website gets added to this list. Now, as you see, I just started the post, so I've got 40 people on this list. I don't think this updates, updates very frequently, so I bet you I have closer to 80 people on that list, and that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but these are people that have gone to my website, and regardless if they bought, regardless if they clicked off, regardless if they registered or put their email into the page, and I'm going to show you what, what page they're going to, Regardless of them taking any action whatsoever on the page, the mere fact that they clicked on that uh, that ad that I have running on Facebook is enough for me to believe or to assume that they're interested in what I had to offer. They're interested in this title, four tips to or four steps to avoiding overwhelm. So let's actually go to that page right now. I'm gonna do it through here. Pardon my. I should have had that set up already, but if I part, apologize for not having that set up. Okay, so I'm back on my Facebook fan page, and as you can see, this is the ad that I'm promoting right now. Four steps for avoiding overwhelm. You don't have to look too far as an online or digital entrepreneur to find someone who is completely overwhelmed with their business and all of the moving parts and pieces that keeps it running. I get it. I remember being in the same boat just as you are now. In this video, I unveil the four top activities that I do on a daily basis to get my business growing and moving in the right direction. So that's the promoted post I've going right now, and as you can see, this clicks... And now that's being promoted to a, uh, a targeted audience that I, I, I targeted through some research and some great research. And I targeted it to um, a specific interest, and that's the people that are seeing my ad. And so based on the fact that I believe that those people will want to see what's on my page, anybody that clicks on this page is added to this audience. Okay, so they're added to this custom audience. Now that 40 might not mean a lot to you, and again, it might be upwards of 80 right now, which is just the people that are going to this page right now. I'm going to show you how to even grow that even farther. But for right now, that's the custom audience. So anybody that comes on this page, which is, which is my blog or my website, which is parttimebusinessbuilder.com, anybody that clicks on this page, and they don't have to watch the video, they don't have to register here for these free videos, they don't have to like this, they don't have to do anything else. Just the fact that they're here puts them on that audience list, that custom audience list. So that's pretty powerful. So now not only do I have a targeted audience that I'm marketing to, now I know exactly who's interested in coming over to my website and looking at this video. So now that I know that, I know that they're interested in what I have to offer. They're, they're home business owners, obviously. Uh, they, they have problems with overwhelm, you know, so they're, 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 they've got a lot of stuff going on. So now I know that I can target specific products to them. So how do I do that? Well, oh, I got this thing all confused. Now that I've got this audience coming from everyone that's coming into this page, I can take this audience and I can send them specifically. Um, I have to go as myself here. I could send them ads specifically. So the people that have come to this page, I can create an additional ad on Facebook and it goes to only them. Now you might think, well, it's only 40 people, but yeah, but it's 40 super targeted people that already have your brand and your website in the top of their mind. So I have, I can have an ongoing ad going that anybody that goes on that page sees this other ad. And that continues for 30, 60 days. And you can set that up however you want. So for the next 60 days, anybody that clicks on that website, whether they buy, sign up, register, watch the video, regardless of what they do, or if they do nothing at all, I still get access to them on Facebook and I can send them so I can promote my page to them so they can like my fan page. They've already seen that I have content. They've already seen that I'm adding value to the industry, to the to the market. They might be like, yeah, I'm going to like his page just to get more information next time he puts something out. Or I can send them another affiliate. You know, they didn't like anything on that page, so I can send them something in the home business. Maybe I have an affiliate with uh, some traffic companies, some people that generate traffic. Maybe I have affiliate with resources that they might use, like that I use, like Aweber. So there's, there could be other affiliate sources that I want to send them to, or I might just want to send them more content, something to register for my email list. So now they they kind of have you in their head. Is that are you getting are you getting to see how powerful that could be? They're already in there. They understand. They've already seen you. They kind of trust you enough because man, you got a website. You got this cool fan page. Now they're seeing your ads. Now you now they think you're a big shot because you're following them all around Facebook. Now they see you on their timeline now they see you on their phone when they're looking through Facebook so now they're like oh my god this guy's everywhere how come I didn't see him before so that's called retargeting so these are retargeting strategies 
which are super effective. So you can run an ad to all those people and get them going. Another thing you could do, and I mentioned it earlier, if you have a list already, a, a mailing list, and you have potential customers already, send them to this page. So even if, well, if they don't have a Facebook account, it won't, they won't register on this list. But if they do have a Facebook account and they go on your page, they too will get drawn into this audience. So anybody that comes to that page that has a Facebook account and they're using that same and they're logged in and you know there, there's a couple different dynamics that work with that and I'm not sure exactly what the uh, algorithms are for that but they have the tendency and potentially to get added to that list as well so not only do you have now you don't have to send them continuous emails now you have them on this list on this audience list in Facebook and now you're just sending them Facebook messages now you're just sending them ads on Facebook so it's super powerful and although you don't think that list is big let me let me show you how you can blow that list completely up and make it grow exponentially so um, okay, so here I am. I'm back in Facebook. So, all right, let's go back here. Let's let's cover a little stuff, just so you're not that confused. You create an ad on Facebook. You send them to a website. Your pixel, which I didn't show you. If I go here, and I go to actions, see this pixel. This code here is the code that you have to put into the website where you're sending traffic. Now, I'm not going to get into that because there's a hundred different website platforms. There's a thousand different ways you can add this pixel to the website. So I'm not going to go into that. Uh, you could definitely find, like if you Google or YouTube, um, adding audi custom audience pixels to my blog posts. You're going to find a video. You're going to find someone that's going to show you how to do that who's far superior and more technically advanced than I am. I'm just showing you the strategy and how powerful and effective it is. So that's the pixel you want to add and make sure that it's going on to where they're going. So anybody that jumps on your website post is being created just in this and this is how you create that audience real quick go up to ads manager under audiences create audience custom audience website traffic so you go here and go anyone who visits my specific web page is the one I use I add my URL here and then for the next 30 60 days anybody who comes on that website will be added to this audience so you just name your audience test audience blah blah blah. i'm not going to create a new audience and that's that's all you have to do for that so that's what i did yesterday for this one i already got 40 people potentially 80 but let me show you how you really really blow it up so if you look here back up to create audiences i can do a custom audience okay so now what a custom audience does or i'm sorry a lookalike audience so what a lookalike audience does if i go here steps so now if I want to create a lookalike audience to this four steps to avoiding overwhelm, what that's going to do, it's going to build an audience from Facebook who have similar attributes as your audience or, or similar, similar, similar insights, uh, home business owners that like certain pages. That So people who are just like the people who are clicking on your post, now I can USA or United States, sorry. If I can make up to, you know, 4 million people, I create my audience, and now this is going to do it. Okay, so my source audience is still too small to build such a big page. Uh, but you can see here, I've got 280,000 on that list. Uh, Lookalikes. Let me find another lookalike. I have lookalike from just people who like my page. 2 million people. I have a lookalike audience of 2 million people that are similar to the people that like my fan page. Now, don't you think that's a pretty good market to... To send advertising to you don't think that's targeted like these are people that have the same attributes same insights as my fan page likers here's another one people who like uh this page i did here this ad i did here 2.1 million people that i can send ads to who are similar to the people who like this post that i put up before so you have to realize how powerful and how how long your marketing arms get and how how you can stretch your marketing dollar by creating these these custom audiences I would never recommend to do a Facebook post that you're going to boost or a Facebook ad without creating one of these audiences. This is like, they're offering you these names for free on your, to include it in your ad. You have to use this resource. If you're not using this resource, you're literally throwing that advertising money out the door. Because once they go to your page, if they don't like your stuff, if they don't download something, if they don't buy something, if they don't, you know, join your email list, they're gone forever. This guarantees that they're not. This guarantees that you do have that information. And I can market to these people forever. And 
ideally what I want to do is create the custom audience, send them to that traffic, build the audience, and then automatically, automatically have a new ad going to them. So every time, if you have, if you ever bought anything from like a big marketer or a big company, as soon as you buy something, if you clicked on their ad through Facebook, you'll notice that as soon as you clicked your ad on Facebook, went to the page, two or three minutes later, if you're on Facebook again, boom, their ad pops up again. It's so powerful. It's amazing. So I think that's all I really wanted to cover. I, I wanted to make sure that if you're if you're creating Facebook ads, that you're taking the opportunity to build these custom audiences and retarget your audiences as much as possible and send them through that funnel and then create a Facebook funnel. Take your email list, send them to that traffic, to that site where you're creating the audience from, and then you can start building an audience from that too. So once they go through your stuff, uh, they'll just get a new... They'll start seeing you all over the place, and then you just keep doing that, and then you start. You could do as many ads as you want to that custom audience. Then you could do a lookalike, and then you could do a lookalike to the lookalike, and then you could extend that to millions of people who are potentially going to see your ad, who kind of already who are already targeted. So it's like free keyword research done for you. So I hope that helps. Again, you know, I didn't want to get too far into the techie stuff, and I didn't want to get too far into the how to put ads in and how to build ads. I didn't want to touch any of that stuff because I'm sure you all know how to do that. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there's people out there that could probably teach you far better than I could. I'm here to show you how quickly you could build a list on Facebook without even capturing an email address. So you, you create a post, and then from that post, wherever you're sending that traffic, you create a custom audience based on that traffic, and then you generate another ad. It could be the same ad. You could send them back to that page if you want, kind of give them double exposure, which I do sometimes, and they're like, oh, I saw this already. What else does he have? Oh, I saw, you know, or I watched this, or I didn't watch the video last time. I didn't have time. Let me watch the video now. Oh, I watched the video, but I didn't have time to come down here and check out his offer. Let me check that out now. So they go to your offer, and then you get their email address. All right, sir. So whatever it is you, you want to do, you can do that based on this new audience. So it's just a, a really effective way of retargeting and using your ads for more than just trying to get people to a website. So I hope that helped. Again, go to parttimebusinessbuilder.com if you want to check out any of our free trainings. This new video is really good. It gives you the four steps to avoiding overwhelm. It's a quick 12, 14-minute video. Uh, it's the first time I used my whiteboard up there, so I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. And then um, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash builder. And play around with it. You know, Do some stuff that kind of helps you out you know, and, and, and try to create a custom audience and play around with that pixel. But if you have a, if you're part of a company that you send traffic to, they have their own funnel, call them up or send, you know, check out your support desk or your help desk and ask them how do I install a Facebook pixel so I can generate custom audiences uh, from sending traffic to an affiliate site. Like I know um, the company that I, my, one of my primary companies, I send uh, traffic to them and that audience does build because they have a third party pixel area where I can add my pixels. So. That's all I have today. I hope that was very valuable. I hope you see the potential and the value in just that one strategy. And if you want more strategies and more Facebook strategies, I want you to visit my Facebook page here. And right down here, if you see this ad right here, my internet traffic's right here, parttimebusinessbuilders.com forward slash marketing mastery. Let me highlight that for you. Parttimebusinessbuilders.com forward slash marketing mastery. It's right on my page. I'll put a link up on this site so you can go right to it. That's where I learn all these strategies. That's where I learn Facebook strategies, Twitter strategies, LinkedIn strategies, G Plus strategies, any traffic platform or social media platform that you can imagine. This is where I get all my information. This is where I get all my training, and it's blowing me away. And I'm loving it. And it's and and that's how I'm able to teach you more stuff. So if you want to learn more of this stuff, offer yourself, and actually have the ability to, to maybe even promote this program, then I want you to go to parttimebusinessbuilders.com forward slash marketing mastery and check that out for yourself, and you're going to be blown away by the stuff this guy has. He's taught me so much, and I'm, 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 I'm very happy that I'm able to teach it to you as well. So that's just one strategy. I hope you see how powerful it is, and I hope you see how powerful it is learning and growing and learning how to be better at marketing is going to take you farther in your business. So that's all I got, guys. I hope you found value. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, visit us at parttimebusinessbuilder.com or facebook.com forward slash parttimebusinessbuilder and check out this link, parttimebusinessbuilders.com forward slash marketing mastery. And I'll put a link to that right here so you have the, so you have the same uh, ability to learn all this awesome stuff like I am. 
All right, guys, thanks again so much for hanging out with me. I know your time is valuable. I really appreciate it. Come check us out, like us, leave us a comment, and hopefully we can do more of this for you really soon. All right, guys, thanks again, and I will see you real soon. Ciao.